Good morning, everyone. I am Rabbit, and this is my playthrough of Jade Cocoon, Story of the Tamamayu. And where we last left off together yesterday, we had only two videos, and again, I apologize for that, but I spent one video explaining to you guys a little bit of my minion decisions and what I've merged with what and blah, blah, blah. And then the last video where we left off together, we made our way back to the spider forest, did some trading with Maman, uh, we gave him the champion's belt, I believe, in exchange for him unlocking this little barrier or gate, if you want to call it that, to another section of the spider forest where we should hopefully find some calabash slash the divine tree. Because, as you may recall, our purpose is to imprison it, so that's where we left off and that is where we shall begin. I don't know how much time I'm going to have to record today. We might only be able to get one video in. Today Andrew starts, oh my goodness. <laughs> what? It's so interesting looking and how the heck do you say its name? Squamoage. 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 Like how do you fucking say that? Anyway, BRB. Okay, we caught that asshole. How interesting. So I will probably um, be doing, ooh, should I go down or to the right? Let's try the right. I'll probably be doing a, ooh. The opening of a bag can be seen among the weeds. Excellent liquor. Well, we know what Levant is going to be doing when all of this divine tree business is over and done with. Ooh, another one of these guys. So yeah, um, these guys just like ruining my stories and interrupting my train of thought. It's been told to me a few times that after this section, or I guess upon our completion of this section of the Spider Force, we are going to be unable to go back and give Mabu our shit and do all that jazz. So it's probably to my advantage to capture stuff and make sure I have everything I want and deal with her and then come back and find the tree. So. I will try to stay away from the branches because I don't know if it's going to like automatically, oh no, it's probably in normal. I don't know if it's going to automatically make me do all this crazy shit or what. And Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but I'll just do it right now while I'm thinking about it. When I was doing all of my off-camera minion bullshit, like capturing them and merging and all that jazz, I think it's a really good idea to visit Kikinok and just spar with him because you will gain a lot of XP. And if you're going back and you're capturing a minion that's like level... I don't know, like three or four, and you're wanting that to be the base for your new minion, um, you might want to like get it up to like seven or eight or something to that effect. And I think Kiki Knock is the best person to really raise your levels quickly, and he'll drop a great walnut every couple of times. So I have eight of these. I'm going to save them because of what allegedly is ahead. So I don't know specifically, but I've received that warning from a few of you. So I'm going to mind it, make sure I keep these on store, and let's see what these do. Um, okay, so it increases defense. I will give that to Preston. And then Ichi Shi Oil Magic Defense. I'll give that to SM. And we got a new item here. I need to really sell some of these. What does this do? Provides the divine protection of wind. Hmm. Okay, interesting. I am not going to use it right now, but I think it might be good to hold on to this stuff. And I really need to sell some shit. I've not been spinning cocoons like I probably should be, the extra ones. But it's probably okay. So far, I haven't really been too strapped for cash. There have been a few moments where I had to capture things with the sole purpose of... Oh my goodness, sorry guys, I got a text message. Wait a minute, I'm supposed to go that way. Why did I turn around? Silly me. Oh, it's another one of these guys. Well, I'll just capture it. Why not? Yay, Levant leveled up and... Oh, guys, we are now immaculate. How cool is that? So yeah, as I was saying um, before I got the text message and got caught by those monsters, there have been a couple of instances where I have had to go out and like catch minions with the sole intention. Jeez, this guy is like on my balls, but oh well, I'll fuck him up pretty fast. But yeah, so there have been a couple times where I've had to 
go back and do that just so that I can spend them and sell them for money. But money really hasn't been that critical of an issue for me in this game. Even though it can be. I don't know. This guy's earth as well. Or air as well, I'm sorry. I know that's probably not confusing to you guys, but for me that really fucks me up because I've always felt like earth should be yellow, like, and green should be air. I don't know, maybe there are other games that do it that way and that's why it's kind of like stuck in my mind. I cannot figure out why that messes with me so much, but the yellow being air just seems so odd. Okay, let's go ahead and try to poison this douchebag. Oh yeah, gotcha, bitch. You gonna die. I'm really excited about testing out some of these new minions too. Now I actually enjoy the whole merging process, whereas before it was just so overwhelming and a little bit daunting, and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what goes with what. So again, thank you so much for those of you that helped me out the last couple of days, because it really, uh, I hate these stupid things, but it really saved my ass. Actually, thinking about it, I remember when this first came out, or at least when we first got it, there was like a lot of people who, or there were a lot of people who went on and on about how this seemed like a Pokemon knockoff, and they didn't want to play it, and I'm not sure how well this game did as far as initial sales in the U.S., but I don't think people were that into it, which is kind of a shame, because if you really want to compare this to Pokemon, and I should throw out as a disclaimer, I haven't played anything beyond, I think, the third gen Pokemon games, but let's just say you're comparing it to, like, the first gen, uh, which I believe maybe second gen was out in 99 when this came out. I don't remember. I would have to go back and kind of look at, like, the timeline of releases and stuff. But let's say people were comparing this to first gen, just for the sake of what I'm about to say. I think that's kind of weird to consider this a knockoff of Pokemon because, in my opinion, <gasps> there's another skeleton key. That must mean that I... Wait, is it just hidden there? That must mean that I missed something in the first area. But I don't know where that other chest could have been. Huh. I'll go back and look before we finish up this level. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, we're on tree limbs now, or at least among the roots, so I'll probably... <gasps> Oh, what the fuck? They're like fucking tree branches. These are so cool, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to be capturing all of these. And then as soon as I get the second guy up there, I'm going to go back to Mabu, turn these guys in. Maybe I'll explore the first part of the spider force a little bit more because I can't help but feel like that must mean that I missed a chest if I have an extra key. I mean, I guess it's possible that maybe I'll stumble upon another one. But anyway, back to my Pokemon versus Jade Cocoon argument. For those who, like, didn't want to play this or didn't like it because they thought it was a ripoff, I feel like if you look at the first Pokemon game, even, like, the second generation ones, there really wasn't that much depth to it when you think about it. It was just you capture a Pokemon, you raise its levels, and then you make sure you pick the right element to conquer your foe like that was it whereas in this one you have to deal with elements although it's that aspect's a little bit more simplistic since you don't have to deal with like rock and like ghost and blah 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 like all of this other stuff that you did in pokemon however in this game i feel like you have to worry about merging and you have to worry about the spells i mean i guess you have to think about that in in Pokemon too, but it's not so fixated on breeding and, and mating, which I know got introduced, I think it was third gen, I want to say it was the third gen Pokemon games, where you were able to begin the whole mating and breeding to like get special um, like spells and stuff, but anyway, I'm just comparing this to the Pokemon games that were out at the time when this was released and people were comparing it to, and I think that's kind of a disservice to this game and people kind of cheated themselves out of a good and interesting experience by just likening this to the other series because I don't think they're that comparable. I mean, they're similar in that you have monsters and you capture them and you use them to fight for you. But that's pretty much it. Even this, there's more of a story to this, whereas there wasn't really a story to the Pokemon games at all, which is fine. They were still really fun 
and I know a lot of people got really into them and like the whole trading cards, but anyway, that's just me ranting. I don't get why some people were saying that this was a Pokemon ripoff, because I don't think they're that similar at all. To me, it's like saying that almost any RPG is a ripoff of another because they all have the same basic elements. Like, you can't do that. I don't know. That's just me, anyway. And I'm sorry, I'm making you guys watch me do this, and I said I was not going to do that, but, um, I probably don't let you guys watch enough stuff of me, but I will go ahead and let you guys sit this fight out, because this really shouldn't take too long, and I do want to capture these guys, so this video might end up being a little bit short, we might cut this off around 15 minutes, <gasps> Skittle Man! You killed them. I suppose that was my fault. I was not paying attention. I really want to capture those guys. I need more than just two. Can I? Will they be back? No. <laughs> Why? Why, Skittle Man? Why are you so violent? Hang on, guys. Let me see if they'll respawn. Lord knows there are so many of those fucking Skawujutas or whatever those fucking things are called. You've got to be fucking with me. Okay, whatever. I'm going to use my hunter's earring. Yes, leave the forest. Let's go and give these to Mabu and just look at whatever spells the scoots. No, those aren't called scoots. The scoots you found in the beetle forest, I think. I am so mad. Ugh. And now i got to figure out where does this last skeleton key go? I hate this, guys. I need a map. I always need maps. Maybe you guys should start drawing them for me because, holy shit, I'm always all over the place. Yes, Mabu, you've already said this to me. Come on, bitch. So I'm a little bit excited. Today is going to be Andrew's first day back at school, and he's not actually starting classes yet, but he is also going to be a... TA, which, as you guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know I did while I was pursuing my master's. Let me look. Basically, you're just a teaching assistant where you either teach your own class or you are a slave to whoever your advisor is. I was both. I was considered a GA, which is just graduate assistant. He is, I think, specifically a TA, so I don't think he's going to be doing any research for his professor. I think he's just teaching. That thing is interesting. Okay, let's see its abilities. And it looks like it has good magic defense as well as attack. So it might be a little bit like the Omas, I'm thinking. Wind attack plus power. And you have no magic. What What is Bieber looking like? Hmm. Okay, so that actually would be pretty good to merge with him. What do you... Oh, but you have wind attack plus accuracy. I don't know what's more important, accuracy or power. Well, I'll keep like two of those guides around just so I can use them for merging later because a few of you have been warning me that I need to have some spares because I may not be able to come back and do any of this shit later. So, uh, I don't really want to change that. So yeah, I'll deal with those guides later. I might combine like two of them. And yeah, I got this guy, and I don't remember. Why did I take this thing? Does Beyonce? I think she has one in her. Yes. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Let's see. Let's just look at the Embla. I'll figure this shit out. And then, okay, so these things look hella cool. I don't know what you guys think, but I am loving this. And this one is magic attack and magic defense. So I bet this would be really good to merge with those OGAs. So I think off camera I might do that because, again, as I talked about in the merging video where, like, all 15 plus minutes were dedicated to that, I think it might be a good idea for me to have an attack-based elemental minion as well as a magic-based elemental minion. So I know Preston, Beebs, and Skittleman all are like physical damage dealers as well I guess Preston's more balanced so he's okay but yeah for sure my air and my earth are predominantly attack and not really magic so 
but Beyonce is cool because I have Sherrick now who is predominantly magic so I probably need to go and focus on getting an earth and an air that are magic based but I will not make you guys watch me do that let's look at Embla's wow he doesn't oh shit Deva Volley that is so cool so that actually might be good to merge with Preston. And then I need to capture a couple other, um, whatever those things are, ragdo ragdoors, radgores, to get his color back. Anyway, guys, I will go ahead and end this video right here. Um, sorry that the last two minutes have been me just, hmm, thinking over here and planning out more minion stuff. Like I said, I kind of get it now, so I'm excited about it. When we come back together, we will continue exploring the second portion of the spider force. I'm going to look through the first portion on my own to see if I can find that chest. If I don't, just whatever. Fuck it. It probably didn't have anything that special in it anyway. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video.